Okay, I'm going to show you how to bench test these Chinese radios because um, no sense in going through all that work. If it doesn't work, it doesn't connect to Wi-Fi. Um, you know, features don't work. Uh, GPS doesn't work. It just doesn't make sense. Bluetooth, all those other, uh, you know, things that you expect from a radio. So it's basically pretty simple to... Um, bench test it, you just take the yellow, which is a constant power when it's installed inside your vehicle so you don't lose the memory settings and stuff like that. The red <clears throat> is, of course, the power. That power is it on. The black, of course, is ground. And that's all there is really to set up the bench test. And you can add certain things, like I added the Wi-Fi. They said to cut the wires. I, I was having a problem with the Wi-Fi on this. Cutting the wires did absolutely nothing. Uh, here you go, here's your GPS. I have that uh, screwed in there too. And the window's over there, but in this application, I pick up a couple of satellites, so for me, it works fine. Um, the only thing is uh, basically just testing the Wi-Fi to see how fast it works. Of course, in the house, it works a lot better. And the one that I just replaced this one with it flies inside the house. It's like unbelievable. It's totally different than this. I mean, this works okay. Like if I put Chrome on, like right now I'd have the home page right now. Let's see what the home page is. I get back to that home, which is Google. Let's see how long it takes. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Actually, that's pretty good. Not bad. It's funny how it's working pretty good now. Maybe it knows I'm returning it. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, so uh, let's go to YouTube. Let's see if it let's see if it plays a video. Like right now, we'd see all the pictures on the other one. Yeah, let's check out that one. The other one, the video. Yeah. About the same. It's on par right now. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a second. And I'm going to switch over from my home um, Wi-Fi to my, um, my phone um, hotspot. Be with you in a second. Okay, let's connect it to the phone and see how it works. All right, beautiful. Let me go back home. All right, let's go to navigation. That was a sticking point. Hmm. There's more items on the map. It's taking time and taking its time. All right, let's just rush it a little bit. Let's, uh, Commentary Pizza, see? It's trying. All right, so it did do it. All right, let's, let's start this baby. Not too shabby. All right, so that seems like that's working okay. It's jumping around a little bit, and that's because um, GPS is only picking up a couple of satellites. So let's just get out of this for a second. It is kind of like lagging a lot, though. The other one wasn't lagging so much. All right, so still hooked up to my phone. Let's go back home. All right, let's go to, um, let's go into the uh, apps here. Uh, oh, Play Store. Just having problems with that, downloading apps and stuff like that. This will be the last thing I'm going to do. For some reason it works. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. So, let's try this all on one maps. Let's just try to install it. See what it does. 
pending. See the other radio which started downloading already. The other one that I bench tested. Anyway, I hope this gives you an idea of why you should bench test your radios before you actually install them, before, uh, you know, you have to take them out again and go through uh, just a multitude of issues and problems and returns and all this other stuff. So, make a long story short, just bench test your radios before you install them, especially the Chinese ones, because obviously they're not really that good.